Hello, I'm Wendy Newman, and welcome to this course on library advocacy. My colleagues and I are looking forward to meeting you through the online discussion forums. That's where we can engage with each other about our common mission, to advance the case for libraries and librarianship. Archivists and other related information professionals are also going to find a warm welcome here. We hope that you will use the discussion forums not just to strengthen your own understanding, but also to expand your network of advocates for information and solution sharing out there. My goal for this MOOC is that you will be able to advocate effectively for libraries and librarianship to advance learning in the public interest. My experience over many years of teaching advocacy suggests that this involves a big shift of perspective. You'll be informed, that is, you'll be careful to use evidence and research, both in the positions that you take and in the advocacy methods that you use. You'll be focused on relationship building and on ethical influence. You'll have a strategic mindset, that is, you will be able to pursue agreed goals over time in systematic ways. You will be networked, you'll be adept at engaging other advocates and at ensuring that you're not alone. And also, you'll be efficient. You'll be proficient at getting the greatest impact from the always scarce resources that are available. First, just a caveat. This course is about proactive advocacy, not protest advocacy. Now, clearly, there are times when we simply must protest. Protest advocacy reacts to a situation such as a loss of service or a threatened loss of service. But what we need most is proactive advocacy to build relationships and understandings well in advance to engage that long-term support that we need. Turning now to learning outcomes, this course has six. First, to acquire insights on what's at stake. We're going to discuss that most in week one, which is on values and communities. And you're going to be able to share your own values and concerns in the course. Second, to know the key research relevant to our advocacy. This includes research on perceptions of libraries and librarians, research on the priorities and assumptions of decision makers, and research on the dynamics of influence. And we're going to be looking at that in week two. Third, to consider and apply ways to exert influence. This is a key piece that we're going to be examining in week three. It's an opportunity to think about how we engage others. Fourth, to adopt a strategic perspective in planning for our advocacy. This is our topic in week four when we look at strategy and communications. Fifth, to communicate more effectively, particularly within the development and strengthening of strategic relationships, also addressed in week four. And sixth, to plan and apply the basic steps using best practice to move an advocacy objective forward. We're going to cover planning and implementation in week five, and then we're going to pull it all together and examine some special topics in week six. Instructional resources for this MOOC include four different kinds. First, video lectures on the main learning points for each topic. And second, core materials that you should read and others that are of potential interest to you to read. Third, uh, guest speakers who are appearing in video interviews. And fourth, some activities that will help you review the key points and also apply them. Now, most of the resources that are referred to in this course are available on the open web. If it were a full university course, you would, of course, expect to delve further into the research literature. 
However, because not everyone who is enrolled in the course is going to have access to the scholarly databases, we have included just a few proprietary resources to those of you who want to follow up. With regard to the activities that you'll be doing to achieve the objectives, there are short quizzes, discussion topics, and an assignment at the end. The purpose of the quizzes is to simply help you recall and review. The discussion topics provide you with an opportunity to reflect on and to apply what you have learned. These are short postings, not more than 200 words. Through the postings, you're going to be able to extend your knowledge and skill, and you're going to benefit from the reflections of others in this MOOC community. There's one assignment at the end in which you will reflect on what you have learned in the course. This assignment is going to be peer assessed, which means that you will be grading each other's assignments with uh, criteria that we will provide. This peer assessment method has actually found to be very effective and reliable in large MOOC classes. It isn't onerous. The class syllabus has more information about the process and you're going to be provided with full instructions later. We are confident that you are going to find that to be a rewarding experience. About uh, earning the certificate, the Honor Code certificate, uh, the requirements are stated in the Week Zero materials. In broad terms, you have to do four things. You have to complete four graded quizzes. These are automatically graded. Second, you have to post a substantive message in week three and self-assess it based on instructions that we will provide. Third, you need to, uh, to post a substantive message to a minimum of three additional discussion uh, topics. And fourth, you need to complete the short reflection at the end of the course and participate in the peer assessment process by reading and assessing four other reflections. The course staff are going to be reading postings and responding to the discussion as we go along, and we will be looking at assignments at random just to ensure that the assignments and the assessments are within the guidelines of the course. Next, please read through the information in this section on how the course proceeds. Post any questions or concerns that you may have to the course help forum and not to the instructor as others are undoubtedly going to have similar questions and concerns. Your first exercise will be to introduce yourself in the discussion forum. Looking forward to meeting you there. Bye for now.